Well, the uh, main thing that we'll talk about right here is that you guys are going to train to come out for a mode one, two, and two. And if we're here uh, for a mode, stick the next one with the next two out, and then the rest of us will follow. And you'll go ahead and go to basket one and basket two, respectively. Here we you guys do your one, so we'll just add. Okay. Okay. Now, also remember, on an unaided egress, when the closeout crew leaves, don't forget the fold-out door back here gets folded back out of the way. It's uh, your honor to stick it on our little board right there, and that'll officiate the uh, 217 for us, and it'll be there for 27. Wow, that's really slick. Ready, Chris, Chris, let's, let's yes, set the yeah. shot. Video. Okay. The ceremonial sticking action. Thing. Thing. Available to us. There's CO2 fire extinguishers. They're great to play with. That's why there's four. So there being a four, you can each take one. different modes of rescue and what might take place and of course you know when we're talking to you we're talking about the worst case scenario so what we're talking about is mode one rescue where you know you're, you're coming out all by yourselves and that sort of stuff and of course you know the, the fire act system that we talked about the 44 heads you know is, is certainly a, an option for fire or vapors or such magnitude to get over here to the slide water basket you need some additional firefighting uh, capabilities the valve isn't right next to the hose reel you pull the hose reel off open the valve and when you first turn that thing on, you're going to get about 85 gallons a minute. Pony pumps are going to kick on to about 125 gallons. So you're just going to have to remember that, again, you know, chances are with the, you know, our, our routine here, nothing's ever going to happen. But if you need to, valve on, pull off. Valve opened up to get that narrow fog, not a strong yeah, like any red lever arms or anything. Like that. Mm -hmm. You never know. That picture is not going to happen, though. How hard is it to retract? Uh, you would only have to worry about that. I mean, there's a crank that they use to crank it back. Once you pull it off, take it wherever you need to. So right, it's, 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 no, but it's okay to pull it out. Oh, absolutely. Right. No, I'm not bad, not bad at all. There you go, go off. Any questions? Yes, sir. Thanks. All right, after you get down up here, we'll meet you down in the middle. Okay. Thank you very much. First rule is oh, sorry. No. come in from things as far as the basket goes. You get it off in. Remember, you have your headaches on up here. So, yeah, I know. Have to watch out for it. Really. Make sure you hit it like the other And you know, come in this way. Like I say, just think of basket number one. You don't have any choice over there. Okay, so you do the same as basket number one. Right. And that way, you're always in the same path. Give a little last minute touch up on your shape. So it probably you would, you know, you jump in and go to the back. Sandy would. Hit the paddle, and in our case, it would probably be the same thing. You get in first, and I hit the paddle. Which just does. If you got a closeout, yeah. If you got a closeout crew member, they would do it. Sandy, you want to do it? All right. So they'll let you know, and we'll find out some 
and most common. All right, everyone, just so you're clear, when this releases, this platform's going to come down, so make sure your feet are back, which you all are. All right, it is faster release in five, four, three, two, one. in the basket. The only people that rode it, Golden, uh, Bumgarner, and Harvard. Harvard. Yeah, George, George Harvard. Harvard. George. They said they probably do want to duck your head for it before you, you hit the uh, arresting device there. And again, you're just dragging that chain behind you to stop. We uh, had one, and you still have my personal guarantee. If neither of those work, that big one can pull behind that will stop. <laughs> <coughs> now, once you it's not going to settle. It's not going to come forward and then roll back. There is an anti-rollback feature up there on the rollers that keeps that from happening. And as with most, solidly stop you. And then when you hop out, remember that over here on the walk downs, it's a little deceptive in blue bags as opposed to your LES suits or aces. <laughs> if edge here, figure they'll just slide down to get out of the basket. Well, in a suit, your bottles will catch on this. Um, and it is suspended on that cabling. Now, regardless, you're out of the basket. On off of it. Buddy, top guy, you let go. Stay on the sidewalk again. The first, are there any questions down there? How do you drop the side again? Is it the, you know, if you you have two options, if you're helping somebody on that on top the corner, there's a D-ring just okay. like this that's held in with a fifth gun. You pull that. Now this may not drop on its own. Bunker, you'll notice the three meters on the left. You want to stay on air. Get on air. Establish communications. You do, remember, you're still on air, you establish communications. You can unplug the meter, this will run a good 8 to 12 hours by itself on the battery power. So one of you want to take the meter and you want to check each other. Do a nice quick scan, go around, you may find out. And they'll let you know what to do. You got your oxygen meter here and that's, it's going to alarm at 19.5. When you come in through the door, you're going to come in in one of two configurations. If you come in with suit integrity, it's not a big deal. These little guys, and plug that off to your suit connection, okay? Pull the, the connection loose, disconnect, connection ready to go before you disconnect from there, then disconnect, reconnect, your air supply should continue uh, on. Okay, I mean they're rated at five, but that's a really, really high rate. To the, Flight crew, I would say, not a more accomplished area, and uh, have a wonderful flight, and uh, 
Thanks, man. Thanks, man. Great job, man. Great job. You guys are just uh, you've been super up until the very end. Not that we're there yet, but you know, I, I think that uh, we're going to take.